cutting off the bottom of my moobs. Titties. It's not seen. <laughs> <laughs> Another special episode. Actually, I'm going to stop calling them special episodes. This is all the fucking They're all shame. fucking special episodes. Yeah. We must be up to like 70 episodes by now. We've done a lot. Give it up, motherfucker. This is a technical episode uh, where we talk about driving scenes. Technical things to do with driving scenes. And thematic reasons why we keep doing it. Keep technical. So for some reason with my stuff, actually, yeah, Axel Godzilla and all of that, I always like setting stuff inside cars, despite the fact that filming in cars or faking driving and all that, it's really difficult. Mm. But it's something about films which take place in cars and stuff I'm just obsessed with. Do you remember The Faculty? The Robert yes. Rodriguez, yeah. Kevin Williamson film? There's bits of that when they're trapped inside the car and they realise the town's been taken over. Mm. I loved that stuff as a kid. That came out when I was just out of school and I was just like, ooh. I just love the idea of horror films especially like and the car is the last place of, you know, like safety. Yeah, yeah, it's the way to get out of there, isn't it? Exactly, you know, you can lock yourself in and, you know, unless they break a window, which we've done in two of our films, where people have smashed oh. through the windows. One, CGI. Succe <laughs> one, one successfully, one <laughs> less successfully, but still. But yeah, going back to one of the earliest shorts that I DP'd and produced, but didn't actually direct, Sat Nav by mm -hmm. David Morgan. Hey, Dave. What's up, Dave? Um, yeah, we set up black... Uh, screens around the car in my parent-in-law's driveway mm -hmm. uh, had a smoke machine going and mm. yeah, yeah faked driving that way very carpenter very. yes that's what we were going for yeah that's so still yeah. how I see it in my head whether we achieved it or not I don't know uh, but then we carried it over then into Night of the Living Dead and very much it's kind of like a script thing um, you know uh, the idea was you know Ben last man alive getting mm -hmm. from A to B and then obviously mm -hmm. spoilers Getting dispatched. I know. <laughs> right? What? No. <laughs> no, I'll never pay money to see that film. That's okay. <laughs> well, we had a mixture of daytime driving, nighttime driving. Uh, and rather than try cheat it, this time we decided to buy a rig. Well, whilst browsing eBay for bargains. The start uh, of every good story. Of course. Um, <laughs> there, was a, there was this contraption which looked great. For five pound, oh, it, it looked it looked five pounds. It looked five pound, and we were like, yeah, "Yeah, I'll put a six hundred pound camera on top of that and drive." It's basically a suction cup with a quarter quarter inch twenty kind of screw to attach to the bottom of your camera, and then you plunk it on, and then you put the camera on, and then you do this and a bit of that and a bit of this. And you look like this. Uh, yeah, so we took it out for a for it, a spin. To be fair, it worked for two shots. It did. And then the third shot, where we stuck it onto the side of the car, Jim left the door open, and I said to Jim, Jim, just, just shut the door. And he's like, oh, it'll be fine, it'll be fine. I'm like, just, just close the, the door, on the, the screen on the monitor. Because it was a consumer, what was it, Panasonic? Or? Yeah, it's like a handy cam yeah. camera. About 30 seconds into driving, it came off. It just the, come the off. And I, what, didn't your neighbours Some out? guy on the site I live on kind of came out and went, oh, guys, I think... The something's camera's rolling off. down something, the road. Something's falling off your car. The question is, um, don't be a tight ass when it comes to rigging your camera. The thing that you're going to stick your camera to, which is going to go at least, say, 10 to 15 miles an hour, because we weren't going too fast, because we, I mean, we were on my site. Yeah. And it came off 30 seconds, so uh, five miles an hour I must have hit, if that. You can get really good contraptions on eBay, really good rigs for, for cars. Um, they were pretty cost about £100, which is well worth the money. So if you're going to do some daytime stuff, and you're going to need to rig the car up properly yeah. for daytime, unless you want to deal with green screen, and then trying to light that green screen. After that experience, um, we went on Silent Night, Bloody Night, where we decided we'd fake it. Hmm. But the problem was, again, low budget shoot, I think this was a feature film in 11 days, we didn't put enough planning into it. No, we didn't. And so we didn't have the black screens that we used on the sat nav. No. We didn't have a smoke machine. No, no. we couldn't have done because it was plug in, you know, it was mains. We, we were in this uh, industrial estate, the back end of it, um, very dark alley, <laughs> very little Same lighting. shoot when the, the police turned up as well, <clears throat> but not for that bit. All right, yeah, true. That was when we had the baby guts baby in, guts a, car in seat. a car seat. Yeah. yeah, that's when you don't want the police to turn up. Yeah. It was pitch black. We had very, very little lighting, and the lights we did have were just poor lights. Battery powered. So 
as a, as a DP, it's a very uh, amateur DP at the time with very, very little experience. Yes, yeah, let's just call it inexperience. Let's not say amateur. Right. That's being rude to amateurs. It's true, actually. Yeah. <laughs> the first question is, okay, how can I justify the lights? Okay, what, where can I put the lights that would look, um, you know, logistically correct? So we thought, right, dashboard of the car. So we take these two LED lights. We, they're too big to slot in anywhere. So we have to put them on the laps of the actors blasting up so very vincent price hammer yeah. horror kind of look they weren't that you can vary the light no. it was on or off it was a terrible kind of blue shitty cri uh, yeah really bad lights and uh, we made do with that on the plus side you could see their face you could you could see there were people in the car and that was about it to be honest <laughs> well uh, outside then we had two yes, yeah, led yeah. tube lights that we did that ever so often to pass the headlights yeah yeah, yeah. um but what crappy little uh, street lights they were, unfortunately, did highlight, and we only noticed this in post, that there were some railings in the background mm. that were picking up that orangey kind of glow. Yeah. So obviously this was meant to be a driving car. Um, stationary. You could, you could see in the background that clearly the they car. were stationary. Yeah. And, and Alan was going like Acting. this. Acting! That's who Alan was. Yeah, Alan Humphreys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> in post, we put a vignette on it. And thanks to Paul and the sound design, it's okay. I can't stress enough how important sound is. I know we're going off topic now, but yeah. really the safety. Oh people. no, no, no! I, but, in terms it's, of selling it's, the it's scene, it's relevant to obviously yeah. with with yeah. with car driving scenes as well. So, uh, but I think the main thing we learned on that was prepare, practice it. If you're going to do a lighting yeah. setup that you haven't done before in that area, or something you're not confident doing, or you've done it, it's failed. Practice, practice yeah. yeah. Which takes us on to curb crawlers, feature film number three. Again, driving stuff. Now this time it was in the van. So when we were shooting in the back of the van, um, the back doors didn't have any windows in it. So we simulated that with just runners on the outside wobbling the van. And then when we were actually then cutting to the front of it, we actually had proper driving uh, bits. Um, but the actor who was supposed to be driving couldn't actually drive. So we flipped it in post. And, and to be fair, it works. It works, it works yeah, okay. It work, yeah. um, and then we had Paul who actually could drive kind of outer shot and not obviously also you know hands on the steering <laughs> wheel what's great about curb crawls is that first act predominantly just takes place in the van yeah yeah <laughs> which again that was my idea i was like oh yeah claustrophobic you know they're, they're on the prowl da, 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 da. from a logistic point of view that was a nightmare to shoot in because you couldn't stand up straight in that van oh claustrophobic just, <laughs> claustrophobic just everybody's neck was done in i'm not yeah. i'm like 5 10 5 11 and even i was just having backache the yeah. whole damn time Which then takes us on to Little Monster. Mm. Now, what Jim had very smartly done in advance of Little Monster. Mm -hmm. Look for them to. Um, we're going to be doing some editing to this bit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've listened to all. 